So this is my side and I've got three different cards here. As you can see, they look quite familiar. But in fact, all of these cards have something unique hidden inside their sleeves. So when you hover over the first card, it will change its text color and shrink the heading and grow the text description. Now, you might expect the same thing with the other cards, but that's not the case. When you hover over the second card, it will change its background color and shift the text and icon colors like this. Finally, the third card has a hover effect where the icon grows in size, changes color and even tilts like this, all while leaving the text untouched. These are most of the hover effects that you can add to your page on any heading, text, container, card, icon or image. I'll walk you through every step on how you can add these effects just using Elementor and some basic code that you just need to copy and paste. So let's get started. All right, we've already set up the basic layout with the three cards on the page. The first thing we need to do is assign specific class names to each element inside the cards. For all the three icons, let's assign the CSS class name symbol. Oh, and be sure to only use black SVG icons as only custom SVGs allow you to change colors on hover. But you can still use regular images for the grow effect without the color change. Next, select all the headings inside the card and assign them the CSS class title. Finally, the three descriptions should be assigned the CSS class description. This is important because we'll need these classes later when we apply our hover effect. Okay, just make sure you use the correct CSS class names and codes. Box is the middle container or card. Box one is the left container and box two is the right container. With that done, let's move on to the middle card. Click on the container of the middle card and assign it the class box. This is where we'll implement the background color change on hover as well as the color change for the title and description. Now we'll start working on the hover effects for it. All right, add an HTML widget like this and paste in the code for the hover effects. The first thing we'll do is check if all the class names are correct. If anything doesn't change according to the code, you'll need to verify the class name and adjust the CSS class accordingly. All right, once you're sure all the CSS classes match with the code, let's see how you can customize the effects. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, let's get back to the code and look for the section where we can change the background color of the box container. Here's the cool part. When you hover over this middle card, the background will change from a soft yellow to a vibrant purple. And the title and description text will shift from purple to white. Don't forget that the title should be set as H2 for this to work properly in the code. The SVG icons color will also change here. And you can customize this to fit the look you want. If you want the description to grow or change opacity, you can also tweak it directly in the code. The code is super easy to understand. You can change the color codes here to affect the specific element. For example, the title hover color is set to white here and the symbol color is set to purple by default. Similarly, you can customize the entire code with the colors and transition you want. Next, let's focus on the first container. Select the first container and assign it the class box1. Now copy the box1 code from the description and add it in the HTML widget like this. Here, we'll be focusing on the title and description text. The effect for this card will change the text color when hovered and also cause the title to shrink slightly while the description grows in size. You can update the code to specify the exact changes you want to make, like reducing the font size of the heading or making the description text darker. All right, let's move on to the third card now. Select the third container and assign it the class box2. Now copy the box2 code from the description and paste it in the HTML widget to apply it to this card. The unique hover effect for this card is that the text remains unchanged, but the icon will grow in size, change color from purple to black and tilt slightly when hovered. This gives the card a cool dynamic feel. You can adjust the size and rotation of the icon within the code 
and also change the color to suit your design preferences. The scale settings control the size and rotate option controls the tilt. Once everything is set up, go ahead and click update to save your changes. Now let's preview the changes and hover over each card to see the effects in action. On the first card, you should see the text color change and the heading shrink while the description grows. On the middle card, the background color will shift from yellow to purple and the text icon changes to white. Finally, on the third card, the icon will grow, change color and tilt while the text says the same. And that's it. You've now added three different hover effects to your cards. These hover interactions are a great way to make your website more engaging and visually appealing. So test the different settings and make the cards customized to your website. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.